This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This is all about silica and we're in volcanoes and we're looking at how silica dictates the magma, what silica is made of, the components, and also what silica does to the magma and to change the magma's characteristic based on the level of silica. All right, so silica is SiO2. It is it's a compound, and the two parts are silicon and oxygen. Silicon is 27.2%, and oxygen is 46.6%. This is the percentage of by weight in the crust of these different elements. Now, when they combine, obviously, to make silica, you're looking at nearly 75%, uh, three quarters of the crust is composed of both silicon and oxygen, so silica. Now, in terms of the mass, Silica makes up 59% of the crust. So it is a very important compound to consider when looking at the, the rock composition so close to the surface, whereby you have the magma and the lava obviously being derived from the rock, obviously melting in different processes to form the molten component the melt which contains this abundant silica within it so silica is going to be a controlling and defining component when discussing magma and lava this can also be called silicon dioxide and it comes in a tetrahedral mineral shape and this would be sio4 based on the way that it forms in large complex chains and it looks like this so silica forms the main component of three main rocks, quartz being the most common, tritomite and crystabolite. Now those are the three rocks that form really from silica being its main element component or element composition. So in terms of magma and lava, silica is the main control or main difference when it comes to the types of magma and lava. And this is gonna play an important role in the formation of volcanoes and play a large role in how they erupt based on the silica. Now, silica ranges from around 45% being the lowest down to a maximum of around 75% being the highest. Now, there are some cases where this may fluctuate in the percentage, but generally between the range of 45 and 75%, this is the silica. So low silica would be the basaltic, magma then we get the andesitic in the middle we have the tacitic is that hot medium to high and the highest is the rhyolitic again up to about 75 percent dacite 65 to 70 and acidic between 50 to 60 percent and basaltic between you know 45 55 percent would be the general range of these four types of magma and obviously they come to the surface, mostly four times the lava. So silica is also involved with the three Vs. You're looking at volatiles, viscosity, and VEI. Now, VEI is a scale of intensity and magnitude of the eruption based on various features which are controlled by the magma and the energy, which also relates to the time. And this is going to be controlled by the silica percentage by weight and the larger VEI, the larger ones between, you know, six to nine on the scale, it's going to be more rhyolitic and andesitic magma, which goes in the higher range or high echelon of silica composition. Viscosity, that would be the higher the silica percent, the higher the viscosity and that is the resistance to flow that makes it thicker now the thicker it is the more gas content so up to including four percent will be contained within this magma therefore resulting in a more explosive larger vei eruption now the volatiles are going to be the dissolved gas now these come from subduction zones and various hot spots and plumes and, and various other forms to get mostly water co2 or maybe some so2 okay maybe some no2 into the 
magma or the melting process. So flux melting would be involved where you lower in the, lower in the uh, melting point of the rock to go over the sodas line into the partial melting and form the magma, which would then include a various range of silica. Uh, look at viscosity, which would then dictate the kind of eruption and explosion you get, which is the VEI scale. Now we get the dissolved gases from dehydration. As these rocks turn into metamorphic rocks and they go through higher pressure and temperatures, you're going to squeeze out and dehydrate the rock, pushing the, the hydrous minerals and the gases into the surrounding country rock of the mostly more buoyant plate, which is mostly continental, and that would melt that rock which would be mostly composed of andesitic rock, which is the medium silica percentage between 50 and 60%, and that would create the magma that would rise up and form volcanoes on the continent, making a volcanic chain on the edge of coastlines, like the Ring of Fire around the Pacific. So to understand volcanoes, we need to understand magma, and to understand magma, we have to understand silica and its various forms and how it can dictate all of the above and the whole subject of volcanology. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, check out more videos on our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.